Hello guys, this is Nurhan and I'm a 3D artist and interior designer. I am so excited to share my first collaboration with NVIDIA with you guys. And in the future you will see much more of this tutorial on my YouTube channel. So, in this tutorial I will show you how to model simple low poly, create the lighting setup inside Blender. For me I only use Blender to create all these 3D models. For many of you who are asking me what graphic card do I have, I use RTX 3080 Ti provided by NVIDIA. This graphic card is really good like to create all kind of details of modeling and even to render it faster. In this tutorial, I will show you the easiest way of creating a simple low body of living room with much more details. Hopefully this tutorial will guide you to know much about how to use Blender and Linux setup. So let's get started. To begin with, we will start to model the basic top of the room, so we have to build the wall first. I always start with the walls first because uh, for me I really like to create the lighting coming out from the wall. I recommend creating the lighting setup first and it is a good practice to check on the lights every time you model. This way I can see if it is coming in a proper way or not. Since this is a beginner tutorial, we have started on low poly style. The next tutorial will be on some realistic style which will have much more details to talk about. To create this style you should make sure to have a good CPU and GPU to make the process much more smoother. You have to put a lot of reference to check on the details, even the dimensions. All this will take time to create, but at the same time these are gonna be the files that you can save for future reference and use it again. Now we will start with creating the floor. I follow the easiest way to create it. I will start by creating simple small boxes of same size and then I will duplicate it. This make it much more easy when you have to add texture to one of it and all the other object copies the same texture but make sure that you are duplicating with all D, not Shift D. Uh, on Shift D it will just duplicate it but in separate texture like if you make changes to one of the objects it won't make automatic change to other objects. To make the process easier and faster, you can duplicate the object that you create in the beginning. So the shortcut to duplicate is Alt D and for more technical details you can just click on Shift D uh, which will give you more separate options. So whatever you create with texture and color for the object, it will take it separately. Once I'm done with the floor, I always make sure if all the lighting and shadows are resulting in the right direction. After this, I will start creating a spotlight for the window, which will make it much easier to create the light impact coming inside of the window.
For now, we will start creating the windows. We will start by creating something really small detailing that will give the windows a realistic effect but at the same time it's low poly style. Adding these many details is not that much necessary but for me I really like to add these details to give it a real vibe. At the same time, I will try to make the light soft, which will again give it a realistic vibe. However, there are different kind of lights that we can use, like we can use a spotlight for the windows or area lights. Area lights are mainly used uh, at the top of the room, which will give much more lighting coming from the top. But also for point light, this is uh, much harder because we have to make it uh, just like a studio light. The sunlight is much more better, but created I found it much more harder, like you have to focus much more like on the directions. For now we will just focus on simple lighting setup to create a room like this. We will discuss sunlight in the next tutorial. For me, I always focus on tiny details for everything, so just for this reason you will see me deleting and recreating other changes again. So it is gonna take some time, but if you are creating something, it's gonna be easier in the future to reuse. So make sure that uh, all the details are coming out in a good spot to reuse it again.
and also for other window I have to create the same as the first one so to make the process easier we can just duplicate the same object that we used for the first one and just put it on the second window that would be much more easier than recreate it again For the lights, uh, these are not the final lights, but these help me to see how the lights are coming up when I render. I hope you guys like it, wait for the second part to explain much more details. See you soon.